I've got your answers. All right, so when wiring phones up to a Simon XT, it's going to be typical for someone to um, you know, take the panel and just plug it into any standard phone jack. Unfortunately, with the Simon XT, you won't really be able to get results out of that. So there's a way to actually get this wired up to your, uh, to your house phones so that we can get the system to call out properly, and it'll work every time. Uh, I'm going to show you the first method. There is a secondary method, but most times is a, you know, an average homeowner won't end up running you know, a four conductor wire from wherever the control panel is out to the phone box. So I'm going to show you a quick easy way to get this attached to your phone lines. So what we'll do is we're going to open up the main control panel and we'll just take the back plate off for this uh, demo here. And on the back of the control panel there are two phone jacks. There's the smaller one and then the RJ45 bigger jack. The smaller jack is for actually having a phone hooked up to it out of the panel so you could make a call from it but the panel doesn't dial using this jack it actually dials using this jack so what we're going to do is your control panel was supplied with uh, an RJ45 cable and then a beige phone block and we're going to go ahead and use these two items and I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your phones using a standard phone cord so what we'll do is we'll open up the uh, open up the RJ45 now this cords a little bit long so you can actually tuck this in the wall if you need to but all you're going to do is simply just plug this into the back of your control panel probably going to want to wind this through one of the uh, openings in the back either here or here or it has knockouts on the bottom of the control panel that you can actually take this plastic piece out and feed it in through the bottom so what you do is you're going to go ahead and just plug this in here and then we're going to take the beige phone jack that came with it and we'll open this up here. We'll just put that down there for right now. And then we're going to open this up. Inside, there's eight screws in there. And what we need to do is we need to find just the two, which are the two bottom ones here away from the jack, which are the red and the green. And uh, for this demonstration, I brought out a phone cord, just a simple standard phone cord. And we're going to actually take this. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end of this off because we need to wire it into this jack. Chances are this is not going to fit in your home phone jack. So we're going to use this one here. Now, in some cases, uh, your phone cord may have four wires in it. In this demonstration, this one here has two wires in it. So if your cable has four wires in it, you're going to take the middle two. And you can check that out by inspecting from the inside here. And you'll see the middle two are usually going to be red and green. So we're going to take that off, and then we're going to strip this back a little bit to expose the wire. And this is going to give us a red and a green. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to strip these two back. And this wire is kind of thin, and I don't know that, you know, you can strip it all the way off. I'll strip it back just a little bit so I have a little tab here to kind of help me get it wrapped around there. And just kind of twist that like that. And then what we'll do is just loosen up these, these screws here. And uh, real simple. You're just going to go with um, the red to the red and then the green to the green. That's all you got to do. And then just tighten them up. And we'll do the red one here. Okay. Now that that's done, you can actually just bend this up and tuck it right inside the jack like that and then go ahead and reinstall your cap back onto it. So after that's been done you'll just take this cord here plug it into here and then with the end of the other end of the cable you'll be free to plug this into any phone jack. Uh, if you have DSL, the DSL company will provide you with little filters. Just plug it into the filter and plug it into the phone jack. That's all you'll need to do. And then the system will then be ready to program to call your own personal phone number should you desire.